Brent Barrett, welcome to Dallas. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have you Great ever been be here, here before? I've been here many times. All right. I think the first time I came through was with Grand Hotel. And uh, then the second time I was here, I was with Kathy Rigby doing Annie Get Your Gun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then Chicago, P um, uh, what was that? Busker Alley. It oh, okay. Tommy Toon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Texas. So I know Texas well. Good, good. Well, reading uh, the playbill, uh -huh. I think you've done every musical that you possibly could do. Is there any role left? What are you saying? I'm old? No, I j <laughs> you've been bi you've been employed. I have been very lucky to be uh, to be busy. Yeah, yeah. As uh, Vera <laughs> says in Auntie Mame, we'll find you something steady. Oh, like the, acting. In life. Yeah, 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 there you are. Yeah, very good. There yeah. you are. Yeah. Um, when when you do Captain Hook. Mm -hmm. This is a very important question. When you came uh, on opening night, when you came out, mm -hmm. this, the audience applauded. I know. What was that about? Well, now you, let's let's get let's get the lines right for the audience. Would okay. you prefer that they boo? Oh, and hiss? absolutely. Yes. You know, this is based. You know, the Barry play. You know, it's an English based. Mm -hmm. You know, the English pantomime. So the audience boos at the bad guy and they cheer the hero. So you know, when I come out, I think I think they're just applauding the costume. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this big red fro frock coat with the beads and everything, and they're going, "Ooh, that's pretty." They said, "No, he's a bad." guy yes <laughs> all right so, so yes so uh, I would and actually we had the we had the orchestra start booing to get the audience to boo oh all right so well. if the audience boos then you then the orchestra uh, you know won't have to do it won't have to do it well <laughs> you know we everybody has to learn their lines mm -hmm. right exactly we all have to we're, we're all in this together <laughs> What's what's the most fun thing besides being the villain of playing Captain Hook? You know, I, I mean, it, the sword fighting. It's th this show. It, it's such a great family show, and I, it it appeals to the child in all of us. And playing Captain Hook, it's like going back. I grew up in Kansas, and you know, we used to, you know, play, you know like playing in the yard, getting your sticks and and uh, and uh, and sword fighting, or riding horses, or doing, you know, the imagination. It's because you don't have the physical things, you have to pretend, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think that's th that's the element of the show that is so well captured in this production, just the the, the child wonder of it all, and uh, uh, and certainly with Kathy, you know, you've got to be on your toes because when she starts, when she comes at you with that sword, you better be prepared. I knew an actor once who said that uh, actors are actors until you put a weapon in their hand and suddenly they become method <laughs> and, and they mean every strike. <laughs> they... Well, yeah, it's, it's, and, and I haven't done any sword fighting since college, so it's, it's been an interesting uh, journey as to, um, you, know, who's, you know, who's on the attack and, you know, mm -hmm. and, and Who's uh, uh, you know getting used to? I mean, it, it's it's just another form of acting. Mm -hmm. it's yes. like, you know who's delivering and who's receiving. But so it's not you're not meeting here in the middle because somebody is somebody's attacking and then you have to defend. Yes. And then you have to go on the attack and uh, uh, so it's, it's, that's something I'm still working on. <laughs> the Act Two song that you do, mm -hmm. which I think, it, I hope it's as much fun to do as it is to, to listen to, and I particularly love the line about uh, when you refer to yourself as Mrs. Hooks. Mrs. Mrs. Hooks, a little baby boy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like all of a sudden you go, what? <laughs> <laughs> because you get the sense that he's, you know, he's, he's been a, an, an abandoned child too, you know, and, and that's, yeah. uh, you know, and he, he turned out to be a pirate. Well, why not? Uh -huh. Why not? And uh -huh. then you also do the role of Mr. Darling. Right. It's uh, yeah. So, so you're sort of like Janice, uh, the uh, Flip, flipping back and forth. Yes. Yeah, which I think a lot of people um, don't know that they don't know that Hook also played Mr. Darling, and uh, he they're they're similar in some ways. Um, they're both just they're overgrown kids. Well, isn't that a, a, a way not to have stress in your life? Well, um, yes, uh, 
Although for Mr. Darling, unfortunately, you know, he's always he's always concerned with the bottom line. It's always about the money. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, well, how are we going to afford this? How are we going to do this? And you know, the the play opens out, and they're actually getting ready to go out for for the evening to a big business event, you know, where he could possibly make some money. So he's he's, uh, he's kind of always on edge. I wish everybody knew the line, a little less noise here. <laughs> a little less noise. <laughs> that would be very difficult in our modern society, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't it? Reading uh, your, your uh, bio, uh, I was so interested to see the CDs mm -hmm. that, that you've done. The Ebb and Canter, tell us, tell us something about All your... Right. Well, I've done three solo CDs. One was uh, after I did Chicago, because I've done Chicago many times. Actually, we did it here. I did it here also. Um, I did a, um, an album dedicated to their music, and it's just called the Cantor and Ebb album. And then um, I did a production of, uh, of um, what was it? Oh, On a Clear Day, oh, which okay. was encores in New York. And um, so I decided to do an album dedicated to the works of Alan J. Lerner, who was the lyricist and yes. book writer. And then uh, two years ago, I put out a Christmas album called Christmas Mornings. And they're all solo CDs that they're available on CD Baby and Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Well, yeah. that's good to know. And you have your own website, too, right? I do, yes. BrentBarrett.com. And, right. uh, you know, people can check in and see because I, uh, we have a. Um, uh, we have some time off in from September through uh, into November, and I've got uh, several concerts that are coming up, mostly around the East. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's uh, solo concerts, and also something I, I produce something called the Broadway Tenors, and so we'll be doing three concerts uh, as well in the fall. So I, you know, I try to keep busy. We should tell some of our uh, presenting organizations around here so we can see you. Uh, yes, please. Yes, yes. Tell Michael Jenkins to bring the tenors down. Uh, Actually, we did come down about ten years ago, and we did a luncheon for Michael. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You said you're from Kansas. So I am. Tell uh, us about. The, I'm from, the young. A, I'm from a little tiny town in Kansas called Quinter. It's up in northwest Kansas. It's on I-70, about halfway between Kansas City and Denver. Okay. That's oh, that, I know that's that. the way I explain it because yeah. it, you, you know, you might have stopped at the Dairy Queen on your way through if you were traveling, um, and it uh, it's just 55 miles west of Hayes, where I went to school. And where I started school as a music major, and then I transferred to Carnegie Mellon. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Did you w want to sing as a kid? Did you sing? I always sang. I had a cousin um, growing up that she was that uh, she was 15 years older, and she played the piano, and she was also a, a ballet dancer. And when she would come back home to visit, mm -hmm. she would like stand me by the piano and she would make me sing. So I've I've sung since I was about five, not professionally, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I was very shy. And uh, so, but I, she was, uh, she was my uh, inspiration. She actually taught at SMU for a period of time. Really? Yeah. Her name is Victoria Bolin. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. who knows? You know, the world is so small that, uh, that perhaps uh, someone will say, oh, I'm, uh, now, now we understand. Now there's the connection. There's the connection. Yeah. I love to ask people like you who have uh, uh, had such a successful career, any advice you'd like to give to high school students who are interested in musical theater mm -hmm. or singing or Well, performing? I just, you know, work, work, work. You know, if you're starting out, <clears throat> study acting, study singing, and study dancing, because if you want to do musicals, um, and you really have to want to do it more than anything in the world, because it is a very difficult business. And you have to be so dedicated, because there's so, there are so many conservatories now, and there are so many people attempting to go into the business. So um, you, it just has to, it has to be your main focus, and you just have to work as hard as you possibly can. And the thing, even if you do that, there's so much luck involved about being in the right place at the right time. Well, was, that was going to be my next question is, yeah. what's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you? Um, well, probably the luckiest thing that ever happened was when I was in school. I was going to Carnegie Mellon, and the casting director for West Side Story, it was the revival in 1980, came to audition some of us at the school. 
and I went up to New York. He, he asked me to New York to, you know, to audition for the show, and I got cast. And that was my first Broadway show, West Side Story. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I know. I know. So don't you think that's a pretty lucky uh, that's circumstance? That, what is it, opportunity and, and preparation? Exactly, <laughs> yes. Yeah, what is, that, what is that phrase about? You know, yes, it's, uh, it's about being, being, um, um, well, we'll being, Google being, it. <laughs> being, being prepared when, you know, when opportunity yes. knocks. Right. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Well, we're so glad you're here. Well, thank and you. We're, we're so glad that, that you're mean and, uh, and believable <laughs> and, and we can and cheer for Peter and, and boo Captain Hook. Oh, please boo. Please boo me. <laughs> thank you, Brent. Awfully. Thank you.